This is a um, short video at the request of a friend who asked me about flowing text into a path in Inkscape. So um, I'll just see if I can show you quickly how to do that. And there are one or two bugs or pitfalls that you need to be aware of. So I've just created a new document. So as is my habit, I'll just be on the safe side. I'll just click on file and save as and where shall we put it put it in videos and Inkscape YouTube text and print so we'll call that text in Demo. There we go. Save that. And this is the default page size and view when, when I open Inkscape. By the way, I'm on version um, 0.92 I believe the latest version is version 1 I haven't got that yet so I'll just show you how to get that again help about Inkscape and I'll tell you the version of it so I'm going to create a sort of a guitar shape um, I'm not a great artist but we'll do it with the um, Bezier pen is this one, one here and the keyboard shortcut for that as you can see is shift plus f6 so this deserves a separate video on its own on how to use the bezier pen but if you just follow what I'm doing I just click on the center line there I've got a center line guide and I will just click again there, click there, and click there, and then once more on the centre line, I'll just turn on snapping up here, so that it snaps to the centre line, and then when we get to the first part, it turns red, and we can complete the path just to make sure I've got that first point on the guide I'm just going to move it a little bit yes that snapped to the guide okay now I'm going to put some curves into this to make it look like a guitar shape so I just get the edit pass by nodes tool which is keyboard shortcut F2 click on the line and drag and make a nice curve of it and just pull this out a little bit and then to make the waist of the guitar move it down and pull that in a little bit same with this just pull that in a bit and finish it off by pulling that so that it's round so we've got half a guitar shape there I think that's going to be a little bit too much there, I'll just move that handle to make it a bit more symmetrical. That doesn't look bad. So I will now duplicate that so I can go to path and it's not on that one, is it on object? Maybe it's on edit. Duplicate it's on edit and the keyboard shortcut for that is control and D. So now that's two paths, one on top of the other. Let's change the colour of it so that we know what's going on. If I zoom in using control and the mouse wheel, you can see that it's got a stroke or as you might call it an outline. The width of it is 1. So if I click this button up here 
that will flip it horizontally so now you can see the two halves and now I just drag this across and the snapping makes it jump to the center guide if I now hold down the shift key and click on the other half and go to path and union we now have a guitar body I'll just uh, make that a little bit smaller so I'll hold down control key and click the handle at the corner and that keeps the proportions the same for the height and width if you don't hold the control key down you get this effect so just undo that control and Z and just put that back on the center line now I'm going to change the color of it so that we can see some text on it when I've got some text so I'll just click on this yellow here and that will change the fill to yellow so we've got yellow with a nice black stroke around it now I need to get some text to put into that so I'm going to go to a website so I'll just put in a search of Lorem Ipsum and here we have a nice text generator which allows us to fill documents with Latin text and allows us to concentrate on the format of the text rather than the actual content of it so down here you can generate some text and it's saying I can generate five paragraphs I'm going to make that two paragraphs and click generate lorem ipsum now I simply highlight the text and copy it so just right click and copy and then we go back to Inkscape go now I'm going to click the text tool down here and the shortcut for that is F8 left click once anywhere in the white space and if I now right click and do paste it puts the text out in really long lines so I'm just going to have to edit that I'm sure there's a better way of doing that but for the time being I'm just going to edit it So I'll just zoom in and click once there and hit the return key and I'm going to pause the video now while I finish this because this is a little bit boring so I've just edited this text so that it goes into one block if I click the text tool again and just click and drag let me zoom into that so that I can see what I'm doing and that is quite a big typeface so I'm going to reduce that and make it 10 and that's put a lot of white space in between it so I'm going to do that another way I'm going to do control and Z to undo that and get the select tool zoom out zoom and scroll turn the scroll wheel on the mouse and I'm just going to reduce the size by using these handles here hold the control key down and that's probably going to work better so now we have our block of text and just move that over there closer so that we can get it all in the screen so what we do now is we select the path by clicking once on it we hold the shift key down and click on the text 
So we now have both of those selected. Then we go up to Path. And we're supposed to click on, no sorry, Text. Pardon me. And we're supposed to put on Flow into Frame. Now last time I did this, it didn't work. And I found out why, so I'm hoping that it's going to fail to work again so that I can show you some of the pitfalls. So I click on flow into frame and it's made a liar of me because it's worked the first time. It, the first time I did it, the text came into a sort of semicircle shape down here and I couldn't work out why it hadn't flowed into the frame. And I found out that by slightly resizing the guitar shape, the text suddenly jumped into the guitar. So that's something to be aware of. I'm just going to resize it, just make it bigger. So I'm holding in the shift, the control key, and click on the... Uh, what I've done there is actually make the text bigger. So I'm going to undo that, control and Z. I'm going to click off and click the guitar shape and try that again, that's better. You can see as I change the size of it, the text flows nicely into it. Um, but now it's left a gap underneath, so we can fix that. So I'll just turn the snapping off up here, hold the sh control key down and that's just about got all the text in. But what I would like to do is put a nice border all the way around. So before I do that, I'm going to get the text tool again and highlight all of the text. Like that. And now I'm going to click on the justify button up here. And now it's nicely filled the guitar shape, but it's gone right up against the borders of it. So there is a way to fix that. So to fix that, what we need to do is get the um, select tool. Just, I'll just click off everything so that I deselect everything. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I select the text. And then I'm going to go up to Path and Object to Path. So now that's converted it to a path. So it's no longer editable text. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I zoom in and get the text tool. I can no longer highlight any of the text because it isn't really text anymore, it's just a series of shapes. I just do control, uh, no, I'll just get the select. So, and I'm going to zoom out again. Now, what I want to do is put that text behind the guitar path shape. So, I'll just click on it again and click on this button here which lowers it to the bottom so now it's behind the guitar shape so now I will click off and click on the guitar shape hold the control key and roll the mouse wheel to zoom out and I'm going to make that guitar shape bigger. This time I'm holding the control key and the shift key down which will make it get bigger from both sides if you like. You'll see what I mean in a second. There you are. It's got bigger. If I now click on this button again I'll send the guitar shape to the bottom and the text will reappear. There it is. And I've overdone this a little bit, I've got a nice border around it, but it's a bit 
too much so I will hold the control key and the shift key down again and I'll just move it up a little bit and I'm just going to pull this handle down to squash the guitar shape ever so slightly and that's not bad we've got a, a nice border all the way around it with the text nicely situated in the middle so that's flowing text into a frame and the shortcut for that is alt and w